Hi guys and ladies, again I tried fishing through the ice, this time in a comfy shelter set up on the dock, but to no avail. I just can't catch a fish these days, but I'm not going to let that stop me from dining on low carb fish. I'm going to make my first cast right here on the dock. I found a recipe online for creamy, rich shrimp, and I've been wondering ever since if it would work with fish too. Ah, I thought, why not do both? Within the same recipe, you know, I'll add some fish to the recipe and kind of pretend the fish are shrimp. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull this off. The recipe calls for a pound of frozen shrimp. Well, here I found a 12 ounce bag of large frozen shrimp. And here I have some bass fillets I froze from this summer. Let's combine them for the recipe and see what happens. I'm gonna to try to completely peel away the shell. Who wants to eat shell? I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but I'll cut this lengthwise, this bass fillet. Now I'll cut them sort of in half, at least in weight. Maybe this one I'll cut in thirds. I'm going to try to chop my own garlic today. Look, it's sprouting. I usually use that chopped garlic from the jar, but it seems so important in this recipe that I thought I'd better chop it my own. Here's something else that might be at the heart of this recipe. Sun-dried tomatoes, julienne cut. I'm going to try to get five ounces of this stuff. Never used uh, sun-dried tomatoes before. I just put our skillet on medium-high and I've got two tablespoons of, of butter here. I got the butter where we want it now. Let's get this garlic in there. A lot of garlic. I didn't use to like garlic. I was afraid I would offend people. I'm out here in the woods. I can't offend any, anything. The rodents, yes. I, let's let this go for one minute. That's it. Here we go. Here's the shrimp, remember? And the fish. We'll see. Now we're gonna do this two minutes on each side. We're gonna turn them over these pieces. Two minutes each side, see how that works out. Let's start flipping. The fish too, I'm flipping the fish. It's been a good two minutes. I'm gonna transfer all of this, I think the garlic too, to this bowl. Fish too. Look at the fish are flaking. It's got to work. I've got four ounces of chopped onion, yellow onion. That's about equal to a small yellow onion. How long do I do this? It doesn't say how long I should keep frying this onion. Here I've got one half cup of white wine, Pignol Grigio. We're supposed to let the wine reduce slightly. What does slightly mean? One half, maybe one third. We're almost there. Then we're going to add those sun-dried tomatoes. Let's do that. Let's let this cook for another one to two minutes. I've got one and three quarters cup of heavy cream. Cream is lower in carbs than milk or half and half even. Let's stir it in. I just reduced the heat to medium low. Cream doesn't scald like milk does. It takes a lot of heat to scald cream. Oh look, it's thickening up. Let's let this simmer for a while. The directions say add salt to taste, but I never know what that means. How am I gonna taste that? Well, here's a half teaspoon. When in doubt, a half teaspoon works. Let's add some black pepper. I don't know how much to taste. 
I've got about three cups of spinach in here. Let's put that in. And now we're gonna wilt it down. <laughs> and now Parmigiano Reggiano. I love this cheese. I'm gonna let this go one more minute. Looky here. I've got two teaspoons of dried Italian seasoning. One more thing. This is lightly dried basil. You know that stuff, it's, it's half fresh and half uh, dried. That's a tablespoon. Looky here, this recipe is done. How fast? Look, shrimp and fish going in. Let's mix it all together and make it delicious. It does look good. We're done, we're done. I'm gonna scoop this into this bowl somehow. It looks so creamy, so cheesy, so delicious. I'm gonna serve that dish with this. This is fake rice. It's riced cauliflower with savory herbs. And all you have to do is put this package in the microwave for five minutes. <laughs> taste this now. First, some shrimp. Mmm. Oh, how nice. Well, you know how delicious shrimp is. Now let me try the fish. The real test. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, goodness me. This is out of this world. Just like I thought it would be. The fish is tender and the sauce is rich creamy, cheesy, and luxurious. <laughs> Try this. This is quick and easy. I could taste the garlic. Well, thank you all so much for watching. You might be wondering where the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, the love of my life, Lulu Cheeks, is. Well, I'm videoing this over the weekend before Christmas. I video well ahead of time. So she's home preparing a great meal for her and her culinary arts students this year. Oh, and I'm invited over. <laughs> well, anyway, we did go out to a little place last night. This is how it went down. Miss Cheek? Yes. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I can call you a Lulu now. Right. You know, it, it's always so nice to dine out with you, as you know. It is. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm a little short of cash. I, I guess I overspent on that classic Bassarino lure. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much for picking up the check oh, no uh, again. My happiness on that. Right. Uh, you, you know, we've been seeing each other for so long. I, I feel like we belong together, you know, like the earth. Earth and water, you know? Together they make mud. Oh. Uh, can I have a hug? Maybe later. They're supposed to be well drained. Oh no! And then we're gonna add those dried. Cream doesn't, uh... what's the word that milk does? Oh, I pushed it down. Oh, just start over. We're done, we're done. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not done.